Hey, welcome to 2023. Now, I don't know about you, but for me, one of the best ways that you can start off a new year is by watching a couple of movies. I mean, why not, right? I'm a movie guy. That's what, what can I say? But today, I'm talking about two movies from India called Drishyam and Drishyam 2. Now, in English, Drishyam means a scene or a visual. Sort of misdirecting in a, in a weird kind of way. How'd they do? Let's get into it. In the Malayalam movies Drishyam and Drishyam 2, both written and directed by Jithu Joseph, a man goes to extreme lengths to save his family from punishment after the family commits an accidental crime. The movies star Mohanlal, Meena, Ansiba, Esther Anil, and Asha Sharath. These two movies were the most requested out of all the other ones that have been requested so far, and, uh, and for good reason, I think. But anyway, uh, they made it clear that I need to watch the Malayalam versions, the original versions of these movies. Apparently, these were so popular that the first movie in particular has been remade seven times in different languages, including Chinese, Indonesian, uh, there's a Telugu version, a Hindi version. I mean, it's, it's, it's kind of nuts. It's kind of nuts how popular this movie was. But, uh, but yeah, these are the original versions of the movie. Now, for those of you who, in America, that might want to watch this, the original movie, Drishyam, was found on Hulu, and it's an HD and stereo, but it's honestly not the best presentation. I'm not sure if there's another way to watch it in America, but for me, it was, it was kind of, it was fine. It, it, it was completely fine, but then the second one was on Amazon Prime in 4K, 5.1 sound, and uh, yeah, that was an amazing presentation. The music in the second one was especially good. I mean, like, like I didn't want uh, the credits to end. I was enjoying the song so much. Um, I, I don't know what to say. The the second one just, for whatever reason, on a on a sound level, just kind of took things over the top. I will say that 5.1 surround sound is uh, definitely aggressive. I mean, that's what I've heard is that a lot of uh, Indian films they're mixed in a way that makes a uh, Makes your surround sound um, really work hard, and and hey, that's that's kind of cool. Both of these movies were shot in Kerala, and I gotta say, it's kind of beautiful, and I kind of want to go there because it is seriously. There's some gorgeous cinematography going on here, and uh, I, it's it's actually kind of weird that I I really wish there was more of the the landscape and stuff like that. I mean, so much of the movie is is kind of dealing with with people and conversations and things like that but but yeah i found them beautiful to watch now the thing about this movie is that uh our hero is uh george cuddy and he is sort of a uh i, I guess he learned from the streets you know he i think he he uh he finished fourth grade but uh but then from then on he was just kind of you know he he, he was a self-made man right and uh all of his knowledge that he uses throughout both of these movies are from his knowledge of movies because he runs a cable TV station in, in this town. And it was, it's interesting and fun and kind of like, okay, I'm not, I'm not sure, but you know what, just go with it. I've spoken about this before, but there's a feeling that I get typically, especially when, when there's a movie that's, that's feeling, I don't know, leisurely paced. There's a feeling that, that happens sometimes where I'm just like, you know what? I'm in good hands. Let's just sit back and watch this. The first movie in particular, it takes an hour for any of the, uh, I guess the troubling stuff to, to actually start happening. And that first hour, like I said, I, I, I was feeling this sort of like, okay, w what are we doing here? But I was enjoying it so much that I just sat back and said, you know what? I'm just going to let this movie unfold and uh, and have patience. I think that's the, the most important thing. Now, the second movie kind of starts the same way. It's catching up with the same family six years later after the events of the first movie have happened. And you see how they're dealing with it. You see how it's affected them. Um, there's, there's a lot of feelings going on. I don't want to go into which feelings because that's part of the fun, you know, is, is kind of seeing this thing unfold. And, uh, and then after that first hour, things really start, really, they really start messing with you a little bit. There's a man at the beginning of the second movie that you learn is going to be the key to this investigation going on. And, um, I have to say, 
it's one of those things that I felt was really, really well done is this incredible tension that you feel every time he's on screen because you don't know what's going to happen and you don't know how things are going to play out. There are things where there's conversations being had and you think, oh, he's going to remember. Nope, he doesn't. And then he goes away and then he's like all this stuff. And it's just there's the way that it plays out is really like superbly done. This is one of those things where I feel like some American audiences just especially like if this was your first Indian film, you might be like, oh, come on, this is mm, I don't know about this, but it's these dramatic zoom ins when something is revealed to the audience and, and to the, the characters themselves. And it's the zoom in and the music swells and it's look, I'm not going to lie. It is sort of cheesy, but I found I found myself, even though I'm a little taken away from the movie a little bit, you know, the, the spell of the movie is broken a little bit. I still enjoy it so much that I can't help but just smile and, and be like, this is this is just fun. Now, you'll notice I haven't really gone into any sort of detail here. I, I haven't I haven't talked about what happens. I haven't talked about who's in danger and who's not. I haven't talked about any of those things because it's one of those. It, I mean, I went in sort of blind. And, and I feel like if you're going to watch this movie, you want the same thing. You want things to just unfold and see how things play out. And that's sort of the fun of it. Now, I will say that I found that the first movie was a bit more plausible, even though I enjoyed the presentation, you know, the, the 4K and the 5.1 and all that stuff for the second movie. I enjoyed the first movie more on a story level. And I felt like everything was a little more... I guess plausible, I, I guess is the best way to say it. And even though the second one, there was a couple of times where I was like, oh, come on, <laughs> you know, it's like almost like a playful, like, really? He was able to, okay, uh, I mean, I, I don't know. I just went with it. And the, the the thing is with these movies, I just, I just, I just feel like they're a good time. Now, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you might know that I have done some Indian film reviews and it's, and for me, it's sort of like this exploration of almost like a new genre of film and which is a lot of fun for me. It's, it's really fun to see something where you're seeing a freshness, you're seeing a passion that is really lacking from a lot of Hollywood films. But I will say from just from a, a like a bird's eye view, if you look at these movies, they reminded me of KGF in a way. In where KGF is about a modest man who who kind of brings himself up and becomes very, very powerful man, like a very powerful man. This movie is about a very modest man who sort of over time outsmarts the police, outsmarts the people that are coming after him and uh, and his family. And I think that there's there's a similarity in not just the not just the way that things are shot. It's nothing like that. It's more of like the way that the movie made me feel, you know, like it's, it's about the modest man overcoming uh, a great obstacle, I guess you could say. Now, as I said, the first one in America is available on Hulu and the second one is available on Prime in 4K, which is great. But, uh, but yeah, the, just be careful which ones you're, you're looking for because there's a lot of different versions out there. But I'm curious, for those of you who have seen one or both of these movies, uh, let me know down below in the comment section what you thought of it. And of course, if you have recommendations, I mean, there's, I've, I've watched quite a few, but, uh, but yeah, let me know down below if uh, you have any movies you'd like me to watch. So thank you all so much for watching. Have a happy new year and we'll see you on the next one.